Hi, Velocity here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Tiny Whoop. So, something I figured out here on the Tiny Whoop, uh, seen it posted online a few times, and I figured I'd give it a try. I, it's always bothered me ever since I switched one of these over to Betaflight, and I've always wanted to do it. I finally got around to doing it, and let me tell you, this makes a huge difference in how these things fly. So, what that is, is I'm sure you've noticed, let that camera focus there for a minute. Prop direction. That's right, I'm running a B-Brain on this uh, on this tiny whoop, and the prop direction is the default stock inductrix direction. And it makes a huge difference in how it flies. It's as simple as that. So basically what's going on here is the struts that hold the motors in are angled in a way to work together with the direction of the props so that it's doesn't necessarily increase its performance by having them angled, but it makes it to where the direction of the uh, airflow coming off your props is hitting directly on that knifed edge, and it puts as little bit of turbulence as it can put into the airflow coming off the bottom of your props. Well, when you put a B-Brain or a Betaflight, a board that runs Betaflight, uh, on a tiny loop, you have to switch your motors and switch your props and now you're doing the exact opposite. You're actually pushing that force of air on this really wide angled strut that's actually pushing the air and it's, it's making it either cycle back into the props, basically creating prop wash, um, or it's just slowing down the airspeed coming off those props. And that makes a big difference in the performance, especially when you uh, are in a descent into your prop wash in the first place. It's gonna make it even worse. So it's a really quick, simple, easy fix. And all you have to do is put your motors, if you've already swapped your motors out for uh, a Betaflight uh, board, or board running Betaflight, uh, if you've already swapped the motors out, change them back to exactly how they were, to the default, the stock inductrix direction, same with the props, put them right back to how it was, and then what we'll do is I'll hop over it into Betaflight, we're gonna go into the CLI, we change one thing in there, it tells the board that hey, the motors are now spinning this direction, and it'll fly a million times better. Um, it doesn't really make a difference in battery life, and I think that's because you're not actually changing the efficiency of any of the electronics, you're just changing the efficiency of how airflow comes out of the ducts. So, like I said, makes a big difference. Highly recommend you guys give this a try. We'll hop over to Betaflight and show you how to do it. Alright guys, so I have my B-Brain connected to the computer. I'm in Betaflight. You're going to go ahead and you're going to hit connect. Once you're connected, you're going to go down to CLI. Click on CLI. And then in my description, I will have the code that you need to copy. You're going to highlight that, copy it going to go down to write your command here. If you're running Windows, you can hit Control V. Um, if you're running Mac, just paste what you copied down into there. And that'll be set yaw motor direction equals negative one. By default, this will be just one. Um, we're going to make it negative one. So once you have that in there, you're going to go ahead and hit enter. You'll see that it's changed it. You're then going to hit or type in save and hit enter. You'll see saving, it'll reboot, and it'll come back to the setup page showing you that it rebooted. Once that's done, that's all you need to do inside of Betaflight to tell it that you're using the factory Inductrix motor direction. Alright guys, well that wraps this video up. Um, like I said, I don't think it makes a big difference in the battery life side of things. I don't think you get much more battery life from doing this but it does make it fly much more stable, much smoother. Um, I think it might have gave it a little bit more punch out as well, not a whole lot, uh, not like upgrading your motors will, but it definitely makes it fly much more stable, a lot more stable like how the factory inductrix board flies. Um, it's definitely an improvement. Uh, personally, I like to do a lot of freestyle in the house with my inductrix, and coming out of flips and rolls, I've just never been able to get it to where it would get rid of every bit of prop wash. Um, when flying in really tight quarters, it's kind of hard to do a flip and continue out of it. Uh, you sometimes just drop, you just you descend into your own prop wash, and this helped that. It helped it not wobble so much, not have such a bad prop wash. 
Like I said, I've done a lot of tuning on mine to try to get rid of it and could just never entirely get rid of it, which you're never gonna get rid of prop wash completely. It's always gonna be there, but any bit you can tune out or fix with a, a modification like this uh, definitely helps. So if you guys gave this a try, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'd like to hear from you guys what you thought. Let me know if you liked it, if it didn't work for you, or if you didn't notice any difference. And if you did like it, what'd you notice that you liked so much about doing, uh, doing this modification? Uh, are changing it up this way. So um, if you like the video, make sure you leave me a like. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe to my channel. I like making these videos for you guys. And the more subscribers, the more pumped up about making these videos I get. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.